All right, it's now time for Interactive. Let's begin today with a look at Australia's Grace Harris, who not only broke records in the Women's Big Bash League on Saturday with her scintillating century, but the all-rounder also broke her bat when smashing one delivery for six. Here's that clip. <laughs> Classic Grace Harris behaviour. Yeah, stuff it. I'll still hit it. <laughs> stuff it, I'll still hit it. I love that. Uh, she's box office. There's no doubt about that. And there it is. She knew. And it's she's still, still in it for six. <laughs> it is extraordinary stuff. <laughs> you cannot script this stuff with Grace Harris. Oh. She says, nah, stuff it. I've got a broken handle. I'll no, still hit it. And it's gone for six. <laughs> that is priceless. Can I say how much I love things like this in cricket? Because <laughs> during the CPL, the women's CPL, I met a player, Shabnam Ishmael. And she gives me this kind of vibe. Like, I will do what I set my mind to do, even with a broken bat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a classic, though. It was class, because yeah. she hit it. She, she said she would. And she did. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it. That is remarkable. Yeah. And it's confidence and it's class. And to me, it, it adds humor to the game. And mm -hmm. it just reminds me like why I fell in love with cricket. Yeah. But the fact is, if you're batting and your bat is broken, you want to change your bat immediately. No, yes. she not just her. Said, she, said, she said, it's okay, I'll still hit it. And, I'll still, and most and batters would have, would have requested the change. Yes, so yes. to be so confident that I will still hit you out of the ground that this broken bat is just remarkable. Yeah. Mm. I love it. <clears throat> All right, let's take some responses now to comments made by Ricardo about the Reggae Girls GFF saga. This was on Friday's show. All right, so Gary Neville says, so sorry to hear the news. Uh, no, this is not reacting to that. Come on, team. <laughs> Where is the re Ricardo reactions? I think we're out of time. Oh. <laughs> Andrew says, so who is responsible for the direction of the football? Not the JFF? Kadeen was with him until he said the girls needed to see the bigger picture. Nah, that's JFF. When the boys were locked in negotiations for how much they should be paid, it was no issue, but the girls must shut up and play when they've had the same issues from 2018 till now. I'm doing it like them. Ricardo, answer. No, no I'm, I'm just saying I'm, I think we've already, well, I, I've certainly answered all of whatever those um, Twitter messages would have said. Um, in our earlier segment and with the assistance of the Jamaica Football Federation and their release today, um, I don't think we have the time for me to say anything else. All right, well, tomorrow, same time, same place, we'll question him. He loves to cross-examine tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>